Alright, so welcome back to another Three Pals for Top Top And today we are going to be answering a couple of short questions and most importantly some YouTube comments because uh the last video from Snowda Product actually did very very well. So now I am literally about to answer questions and most importantly go through the comments uh, and see what people will actually say in those comments as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So for the first question is what is your best experience in the hip hop historian community? I would probably say mostly the performances in battle rap uh, because because battle rap shows so much, so much passion, so much greed, so much competition. It fuels my soul. It, it literally gives a lot of excitement to everything else, including the performances of every artist uh, across the globe, including every single one um, in the mainstream, underground, and roughly in the underground mainstream. So, yeah. That kind of sorts out that question. Another question is, do you drive a vehicle, jet, or boat? If what, So, what model? Um, I do not drive, um, I do not have a boat either, <laughs> so, um, I, like I said, I kind of keep to myself, I'm more of a anti-social type of dude, so, uh, yeah, you kind of know me on that situation, so, uh, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, do you own a graveyard? Uh, if you're talking about as far as killing floor, absolutely. Nice. Have you ever had a hip-hop argument before? Um, yes, I have. Um, there was a lot of hip-hop arguments I've always dealt with throughout the last few years. Um, hell, even some of them can really get on my nerves. Um, but I can, I can literally agree to the fact that there was some things that I was clearly wrong on, and there's some things that I'm clearly right on, and some people literally just decide to, hey, pretty much just repeat themselves every single time i do that too but they do it way too often to the point where they're just literally trying to push that same narrative every single time like it's just it gets annoying every single time so uh you win some you lose some but you live you live to fight another day can i be in one of your videos we could talk about hip-hop um sure um if we're willing to uh just let me know and i'll more than happy to bring you on to to the channel so we can talk about some hip-hop content um i'll probably get you involved in some of my hip-hop discussions uh just let me know when and i'll invite you in. so uh now that those questions are over let's go directly to the youtube comments because i actually wanted to see the comments of the uh last video that I did of the snow to product uh, review so because it looks like it actually did very very well so I wanted to see um, the comments and uh, there was actually some new comments that came in so I wanted to actually read those as well so let's get straight into it uh, my boy Seth Horror came back I'm surprised he actually did came back I guess he was kind of busy he said brilliant bro <laughs> I really appreciate it man I really appreciate it I got this one from Leo and JM. Uh, he says, "You are great at what you're doing. Keep, keep up the great work. Don't be afraid to give up the good for the great. Uh, keep fighting your dreams because you are great. You are a dreamer. Wish you all the success around. I don't forget to give my full support for you. That is really, really appreciated, my guy. I really appreciate it, my man. Um, and then there was a couple of saying great sharing. Um, there was even a ton, a ton." And I do mean a ton from the last, um, from the last one. So I wanted to actually um, read those comments as well. Oh, and there was another one from the Drake video that I actually was a. Commonly, some people really actually did like um, the fact that um, there were some like hip hop fans in there that actually do like Drake, which is fair. I'm not gonna have a problem with that. Another one that actually decided to comment to me is one of the most overrated artists of all time. He's at most above average. Um, I can literally name a hundred better off at the top of my head. Definitely shouldn't be like the number one artist in the planet. That's insane. Now, granted, I have literally have said this before. Um, there are times where people do tend to make these type of claims and that's fair because again the reason they do is because a lot of times is that they've seen way better talent than others which is fair because again you can name any other talented artist at the top of your dome any better than the one that 
pretty much you're pretty much displaying. However, um, when it comes to this, I will literally have a discussion about this because um, I was also talking about this in private with almost the majority of my friends, and I realized that um, as far as Drake is concerned, I cannot protect him any longer. He brought this upon himself. He no longer needs protection, so as a result, I will never, never speak upon him. Him. I wouldn't say again, but I definitely will not shed, like, any type of protection towards, um, Drake. Like, no matter what happens, I can't. Like, I've tried everything. I tried to do everything to protect his career. It just wasn't enough. So, as a result, um, anything from here on out is nothing but just constructive criticism. And take it as like negative as much as you want but hey i have to give what it has to be given so but that about pretty much sums up the majority of the comments and the, ma the, the majority of the questions that i have for today uh, i really appreciate y'all uh tuning into this video if you guys do make sure to leave a like also hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel it's been zed guys later Bye. 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 Bye.